Hey, what's up? What's happening? This is Joe from Metro Production. And I showed you my Osmo B camera slash B roll camera setup. Well, here's my next configuration. And I call this my DJI Osmo mounted to one of my shoulder rigs. And as you can see, I mounted the DJI Osmo to one of my shoulder rigs. And I got majority of the gear on here and it works fine. So let me go over the components. Uh, this is my Etochrome Modular 7 shoulder rig. Uh, what I've done is basically mounted the Osmo to it. So let me show you what I did. I took that accessory mount that I told you about. This is the accessory mount. And I mounted the DJI Osmo on this side. Okay, screwed it in and I took the uh, juice link and plugged it into the Osmo. Right here is the plate that my camera will actually sit on. So if I have my 7D sitting on here, it will sit on this plate. But instead, I put my juice link, atta I attached the juice link to that and then I attached that accessory mount to the top of the juice link. So now, as you can see, everything on this side works perfect. I'm using my small rig quick cage uh, handles uh, for this rig system uh, because it's a lightweight setup so I don't need no heavy duty handles. Here as you see I, I normally will have my video light mounted here. I mounted it over here so that way I can get to the controls up here on the light. I can push the buttons on the light. Then I took my microphone and actually mounted it to the side with the windscreen. Now this is where I would normally mount my microphone it, even if I had it mounted to my shoulder rig. So I got it mounted sideways with the windscreen on it, picks up the audio, perfect. Now let me bring it around this side. Over here, the accessory mount that I told you about, it has a set of rosettes on this side of it. And what I've done is took that extension arm and I mounted it to the rosettes, all right? And then I took my phone mount and mounted it right here. Because what this does now, it actually pulls the camera further away from my face, giving me the perfect field of view, and it worked. If I'd have mounted my phone mount right here where the rosettes would be located, it would be too close. But because it's right here, it's perfect, okay? Here, I got my two XLRs available, so if I want to use my wireless system, I could plug it into here, and on the top of my shoulder rig, it has a built-in cold shoe. So I can mount my wireless system up here and plug it into here. Now I can use my mic and my wireless system with no problem at all. And the XLR will not interfere with my field of view. Okay? So let me take it around this side. And hopefully you can see this. I'm going to try to angle it where you can see it. If you look right here, you can see the meters uh, on my juice link. I can still monitor my meters, uh, my audio levels. I can also still put my headphones into here and control the volume on that as well as my microphone. But if you notice that the meters are moving uh, when I talk because, you know, my, my voice, you can hear my voice coming through the microphone, but you don't hear the fan noise from the Osmo. So if I be quiet, Now, I think you could probably hear the fan noise picking up my microphone, picking up the fan noise, but the shotgun microphone does not pick it up at all. So I don't have to worry about it. All right. Give me clean, clear audio. So now what I want to do is show you what it looks like mounted on my shoulder. And what I would do is pick it up. Okay. Now, looking at it from this side, like I told you, hopefully you can see this. As you can see, my phone is at the perfect distance from my face all right I don't have to look up I don't have to look down now I can readjust this arm down or up if I wanted to by just loosening this up but it's at the perfect eye level so I can keep my head straight and I can basically look at whatever I need to look at I can also control the camera with the touch screen on the camera by just you know using my finger I can reach in here control my volume on my headphones if I need to by reaching right in here uh, this is the I can reach up here, turn the video light on if I want to, just push down on one of the buttons to turn it on and off, okay? And then when I turn it around this way, 
I can actually control the Osmo with the trigger. I can still use the trigger on the Osmo. I can even hit the record button if I need to hit record here or on my screen. I can do it that way. Now, if I wanted to, let me show you something. I could double tap it to straighten it out. And if I triple tap it, as you see, it goes in the selfie mode. Now, because I'm not behind the camera, it's actually showing what's behind me. So if I want to do a facial shot of someone, a full body facial shot, tracking them, I don't have to walk backwards. They have to walk behind me. See, if they walk behind me, I can actually keep, as long as I keep them in the shot, okay, I can follow, they can follow me and, you know, blah, they like they're on their phone or something like that. We, we stay in sync with each other. I can actually be walking and I can actually get that full facial shot without turning around backwards. Okay? Same thing if I wanted to uh, get someone from the side. If I want to uh, record someone from the side, as you know, you can easily reposition the Osmo to the side. And now, if I wanted to, I could have the person over there. And then what I could do is just walk with them and they'll stay in the shot. As long as I keep them in the shot, we can do side. We can walk side by side and we can do the side shot. And if I wanted to, once I could do, I can uh, go back to uh, my center shot by just double tapping. Okay, and we're good to go. So this is some of the benefits using uh, my shoulder rig with my DJI Osmo. Uh, it gives me a lot of flexibility, okay? If I want to do low shots, say I want to do low shots, I can literally just take this, flip it up like that, and now I can take my Osmo and hold it, uh, hold my rig system like, you know, like I normally would from the top handle and just look down at it and now I can do my low shots. I can actually just start walking or running and get my low shots. Then when I'm finished with my low shots, put it back on my shoulder, flip this around where I can see it, and we're good to go. Okay? So, this is my DJI Osmo mounted to my Edochrome Modular 7 shoulder rig. And if you got any questions or comments, don't hesitate to hit me up below. Uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Oh, and by the way, if you come up with a configuration, show me what you got, all right? And leave a link so that way I can check out the video. Talk to you guys later. I'm out.